Hi guys and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. This is the first episode I'm making on this series. It's a kind of space program simulator. So something that's a bit different from the normal content that I put on the channel um, in terms of the fact it's not a survival game. But it's a really cool game and I thought you guys would enjoy it. So do leave me some feedback. If you enjoy the series, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if I get some likes on this, I'll definitely keep making the uh, the episodes. Uh, for now, let's get into it. I've already played like an hour on the game, so I'm going to skip like the kind of the tutorial stuff. I just I played an hour just so I could kind of see and get the hang of the controls and things like that. So basically, we've got a uh, like a kind of a NASA style base where we've got all different like um, buildings, kind of modules that do that do different things. The first thing we want to head to is mission control, which is like where we actually get missions, and this is kind of where we make our money from. We're in like a career mode. So we start off with, you know, base materials and some money and we can make money and we can unlock new parts and things like that. It's kind of, there's a lot to this game and it's difficult to explain. So I think we'll just kind of dive into it. You guys can just see what it's all about through kind of doing our thing. So we've got missions we can take. So launch our first vessel. We're definitely going to do that. So we'll accept that contract and gather scientific data I know just from my hour of playing that I can do that straight away so I'll gather that and at the moment we can only take two contracts at a time I don't know if that changes uh, I don't know if you notice we get an advance on them as well that's the other thing so we get an advance on our mission we get a completion reward and we do achieve goal and complete we do in some ones it doesn't look like these, but some of the missions, if you fail to complete them, you have to pay more back than you got paid, if you get what I mean. Okay, right, so the first place we're going to head to is vehicle assembly, because we're very quickly now, I'm going to skip this because I do know what I'm doing, we're going to look at building our first vessel, which we're going to launch. So the first thing we need to do is add one of these, which is a command pod, so that's where our pilots sit and control the ship from. Let's usually start off with one of those. Then I tend to like try for the most part to work down the list. We have all these components and for now there's not a lot in anything. The only engine we've got is this solid fuel booster. The way this works is that it's already full, it's already pre-fueled. Um, so it's kind of an enclosed unit. It just burns until it's done. So we've got that. Um, and that will actually launch like that. And I think that that's pretty much all we've got to put in there. We can put fins on. But to be honest, we won't bother because we'll just keep it as light as possible for now. We've got our parachutes, which we put on the top. So that's so we can recover the vessel afterwards. And the only other thing that we'll look at is actually putting these on. Because this is like a science experiment we can do. A mystery goo contaminant unit. Containment unit, sorry. So we can put these on. What we're going to do is put that on the top but to make sure it doesn't unbalance the ship we can tick this symmetry button and actually just add two of them so I don't know if you can actually see what's going on here but it puts one on either side in perfect symmetry and we can use that to gather some science so that's going to help us finish that mission and also the more science we get which is like a science is almost like a unit of experience we can use that to unlock um, new parts for the ship basically so after this first mission We'll look at doing some unlocks and things like that. Unti I've got to title the spaceship. I'm just going to call it First Craft because if I do save it, and I'm not going to bother entering the description, and we'll go launch. I think I've done everything. I, you know, I say this now. This is probably get. I didn't do the staging. That's what I've just realised. Not a huge issue because I can do that in launch. Because at the moment we've got staging in the bottom left here. So what this means is that I can activate the ship in stages. At the moment, it only had one stage, so it's going to activate the engine here and the parachute at the same time, which would be very bad. So I can swap the stages so that we've got one stage accounts down, by the way. First stage is going to be our rocket, and the second stage that we we'll hit is going to be our parachute. Okay, so we're going to launch now and see how we do. I'm going to turn on the autopilot, which means that our pilot here, Jebediah, can... Uh, can actually control the ship and just before we go because we can gather scientific data before launch as well from the craft I'm going to whilst on the ground do a crew report and see this is going to give us 1.5 science so we'll keep that 
we'll do a mystery goo experiment which is going to be observing the mystery goo that's going to give us three science we can do that and we'll try and do the other one when we're in the air and I think we can also do an EVA on the ground which means that all hatches are obstructed okay looks like I've put the uh, mystery goo over the hatches so you can't get out at the moment so that's a bit of a pain but it doesn't matter too much we'll do that in the next mission or whatever right so for now we can start activating our stages we have to hit the space bar to do that and we can launch our ship you can't control the throttle on these they just burn until they're done so we'll just we'll just go as high as it takes us and we'll just go straight up on this occasion we won't bother moving at all okay so that's burned out now so I'm just still um, gain an altitude just based on momentum that will slow down and then it'll start to fall okay so I've realized that I didn't actually set the the values on the parachute now I've set it to 7.75 don't really understand that but that in a tutorial is what they said to do and I think I can get the parachute to open at like a thousand feet should be fine so I can speed up time now because obviously it's going to take a while for it to drop back down but I can now activate the parachute because it's shown as white so I'll do that and it will now deploy when the suitable conditions are met so I'm going to speed up time and hopefully the parachute should deploy and I think this has gone horribly wrong oh no it did slow it down in time that was just going very fast there yep that fell fine and so now we've got our craft landed we can recover it and we I forgot to do the mystery go experiment when we're in the air so I may as well just do it again now I guess it's because it's landed it's going to give us more science again so we'll keep the data on that and recover the vessel okay it's now going to show us what we achieved from the mission so we did crew report from launch pad which gave us science mr. grew observation and we recovered a vessel that survived a flight so we've got some science from that as well we got all our parts back and the crew back safely and if we click next it just runs through these things we can click done and we go back so I think that's going to show us as having completed both those missions because we got scientific data and launched our first vessel which means we can take on two more missions now so we'll have a quick look through these and see which ones we could possibly do uh, we could haul the mark 16 parachute into a flight above Kerbin what's that asking us to do uh, it just wants us to take it up there by the looks of it yeah see failure of this mission would have to pay back the advance so that's what that's all about so we could take we could take that and test our T10 hammer solid fuel burner at the launch site we can definitely do that so we'll take that one okay and I think we'll do this one so we need to do this one we need to do a no, it's the wrong mission, sorry. Which one was I looking at? No, we can test the solid fuel burner. That's not a problem. So we'll do that one. Okay, so we'll take the parachute one. It needs to be between 4,000 to 11,000 meters. And all we need to do is take the parachute on a flight at that height. So I think we should be able to do that one. And we can probably do this uh, RT-10 hammer solid fuel booster at the same time. So we'll do those. Okay, sorted now the next thing we can do is go to our research and development and spend some of the science points that we gained from the last mission so we can unlock basic rocketry which is going to give us that engine that we need we get a liquid fuel engine and a fuel tank so those are excellent for doing that we can unlock engineering which gives us um, some more different pieces a decoupler and that can be used for science I think don't know what that can be used for but we'll unlock that as well and then have we got enough points to unlock this stuff no we haven't got because that's going to need more than we've got so we'll exit now and uh, have a go with what we've got do some more missions so we'll get rid of this for now because uh, we're not going to need that anymore I'll move these things because I did cover the hatches with them so that wasn't the most clever thing to do because we don't want those there Okay, because that's going to be the hatch to do the EVAs from. So we'll leave that alone. We will put on some thermometers at least. I'm not they're, they're very lightweight, so I'm not even going to worry too much about them. But I'll put two of those on kind of in a similar place. That way I can do two different temperatures. Because you can only hold one experiment from each thing at a time. I didn't realise those were on two and they're blocking the door now. So 
Okay, just get rid of them. Turn that off. Back to one and just add two thermometers. That's what I wanted to do, to be honest. I didn't want them around the front stuck to the door. Because it might obstruct the door. Okay, so we should be able to do EVAs on the ground at least. Now, we can't do them anywhere else until we unlock something for that. So, our engines. We've now got our liquid fuel engine. But for this one, we wanted to test this on the launch pad. So, what we will do is... We'll give ourselves a couple of liquid fuel tanks so we can use that to make sure we get into the right orbit not the right orbit the right height for this but we'll do like a two stage style launch where we'll use a liquid engine like that but what we'll do is we'll put this decoupler on and then we'll put our solid fuel engine underneath that now what that means is that I need to get rid of this at a certain point when we decide we can activate this and decouple this part of the spaceship that will fly off and we can then activate the higher bits so we'll have that as an option okay because I want the spaceship to be a little bit more controllable we'll put a couple of sets of fins on so we'll have one on the bottom for launch and we'll have one here for obviously when we decouple the other piece okay thinking about it I want to bring this into a safe landing so we'll put a decoupler here that way we can lose the rest of the spaceship and just land our, uh, our pod which will have all our science in it because if that gets destroyed we won't get any of the science back uh, I don't know what that stuff's for yet we've got our parachute I think that's pretty much everything in order so we'll sort out the, um, the what do you call it now I forgot what this is called now, the staging. Okay, so the first thing we want is our rocket to go off. The second thing we want is that decoupler. Okay, and then the next thing we want is to activate the rocket. So we'll have it decouple and activate our liquid fuel engine at the same time. And then at some point we'll want to decouple that once all our fuel's burned out. And then we'll want to activate the parachute. So that's our staging done. We can go to a launch and try this out I think yeah okay we're going to the launch pad now so before we start on this particular one we will may as well do a mystery goo experiment because why not that's not really going to do us anything because I've already observed it on the ground but we'll do it anyway we'll log temperature which is going to give us some science we'll keep that and we will do uh, an EVA, yeah, okay, so we've got him out of the ship now, so as you can see he's on there, and we can do an EVA report, so we can keep that, and we can then get him to reboard the ship, and then we should be able to do a crew report in the air, I just remember, need to remember to do it. Okay, we're going to head off, because we want to get to between like four and 8,000 feet, I think that's where we want our flight to be, so we're going to head off in a I'm going to turn autopilot on, kind of to the east. So I'm going to use our controls to control that. I think we're ready to go, so we'll launch. Okay. I guess we're heading off in that direction, which wasn't what I expected, but I think I swiveled around the ship at one point. There we go, yeah. I just had it a little bit turned around. So, once all our solid fuel's burned out, we'll disconnect immediately. Our liquid fuel engine will start. Okay. Okay, now we've got liquid fuel. We can level that out somewhere. Oh, that's out of control. Okay, looks like potentially the ship's a little top heavy, so that's being very difficult to control. Okay. Okay, we've got that kind of leveled out now, so we'll burn that until our fuel's gone. And then disconnect. I don't think I actually set the parachute, so I want that to go off at 0.75 and activate at 1000 altitude. We might as well activate that now because it'll just kick in when we get down and I'll speed it up to four times. Oh, I forgot to do a, an EVA report, didn't I? Sorry, not an EVA report. I'm clicking buttons I didn't want to click. Let's do a mystery goo experiment. Yep, yeah, and let's do a crew report and keep that. I heard like a splash there, but it hasn't landed yet. Oh no, I think it was just the parachute fully opening. So we did a bit of science there. I should have done it in the air, but I forgot. But I suppose I need to get these things anyway, so that's not a huge deal. I'll speed it back up now, just 
so we can land and recover the vessel. Hopefully there's not a problem with this. I think it seems like it's going down at a reasonable speed, so uh, we should be fine. Okay, there we go, brilliant, we landed. Uh, we can now just recover the vessel. And we'll see how we did with the missions and stuff. I'm not sure about the one. So we picked up 31 science there, which is pretty reasonable from one flight, especially our second flight. Uh, I don't know how we check to see the missions other than just going to mission control and checking it. But yet yeah, we completed both of those missions, so that works. So we tested our parachute in a flight above Kerbin and we tested our solid fuel burner. So we're making some decent money off this now. Um, let's have a look at what we can unlock in the research and development tab. General rocketry so we can get a better liquid fuel burner. This big solid fuel rocket and a bigger liquid fuel tank. We've got stability, which is some nose cones, radial decoupler, so that's so we can decouple things from the side of the ship, which, you know, could be very useful. And down here, we've got some different parachutes. No, not different parachutes, sorry. No, we have got some different parachutes, but also some other things like heat shields and stuff like that. Okay, I think I'm going to unlock general rocketry. Basic rocketry even, sorry. So, I think we'll unlock that now. And that's all we're going to be able to do because these require a bit more than we've got. So, let's exit from here and see what other missions we've got. Okay, we've got these observational surveys. I don't really know how to do that. I'm not sure what the... I think we need to find particular areas. So, oh, we've got this one again. Test the uh, hammer again. We want to test the RC. That's the one we did, wasn't it? RT-10 hammer, solid fuel booster at launch site. Well, I mean, that's easy enough to do, so let's take it, because why not? And test flee a solid fuel booster in a flight above Kerbin. So, to perform test, activate the part through the stage and sequence when all of the test conditions are met. So, we need to get to 18,000 metres, so 18 kilometres. And we need to be doing a flight. Is it a flight above Kerbin? Yeah. And then we need to activate it. So that's that little first engine. So I think we can take that one as well. So we should be able to do both of those in one go again. So we're going to need to make a rocket that includes both parts. Testing the solid fuel burner at the launch pad. And then getting to a certain height and testing the small engine. So we'll go and build that. I'm actually going to call that an end to the first episode because it is easy to go on in this game. It's easy to lose track of time. Um, but I'll get the second one out soon. There'll definitely be a second episode because I want to keep making them. Um, but if you do want to see the series continue, then hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Peace.